In this project, we will simulate the compressible flow over an airfoil in three dimensions. Now, as you know, the first step is to click on a fluid flow block and then drag it into the blank space inside Workmate software and then double click on geometry section. Now, for the first step, we need to create the outline points of our airfoil. To do that, we click on create and then select point. On the low left side of the software window, in front of type and definition, make sure that construction point and from coordinate files are selected. After that, on the coordinate files, we click on the none and select the files where the coordinates of the airfoil points are saved. It should only be pointed out that for those of you who have problem importing the coordinate points of the airfoil into the design Modeler software, please go back and watch session 3. After importing the coordinates of our airfoil points, we click on Generate button. Now that we have imported the outline points of our airfoil, it's time to import the outline curve of our airfoil too. To do that, we click on, on Concept and select 3D Curve. Just like what we did to import a uh, point of our airfoil, we do the same thing here to import the curve too. Now, if we rotate the end of our airfoil and zoom a little bit in, we can see that the the end of our airfoil is open. To close this open end, we need to create a point at the end and then connect it with the two other points. After selecting the point uh, from the Create tab, uh, this time in front of the Definition section, we need to select the manual input and then enter the coordinates of our point as you will see in the next slides. Now that we've created our ending point, it's time to connect this point with the other two points using the Line from Points command. Now that we've created the outline of our airfoil, it's time to turn this outline into a surface. To do that, we click on Concept and then select Surface from Edges and then select four edges of our airfoil. Now our target here is to create another type of a structured mesh other than the mesh we created for the third session. To do that we click on create and then go over body operation and then select a scale. It should only be pointed out that defining a big number for the maximum value of the current number may increase the errors in our results. However, in this project, since we wanted to finish our calculations sooner, we set the maximum value of the current number to 200. After defining the needed settings, we click on Calculate button and the software will start the simulation process. Now, after some time, when you check the scale residuals and drag report that we had defined, you will see that the residuals and the value of the drag force have reached a constant value, meaning that our solution is probably converged. Therefore, we can stop the calculations.
Now, in order to create a pressure coefficient diagram over the airfoil walls, we need to create two lines over the top and bottom wall of our airfoil. To do that, we right-click the surfaces, go over New, and then select ISO surfaces. In the appeared window, under the surface of constant, we select Mesh, and underneath it, we select Z coordinate. After that, we click on Compute button so that the software will calculate the extents of our geometry in Z direction. After that, we enter the value of ISO values so that our surface will be created in the middle section of our geometry. Now that we've created a surface in the middle section of our geometry, we need to calculate its intersection with the bottom and top wall of our airfoil so that we have a line on the top airfoil wall and a line on the bottom wall of the airfoil. To do that, we simply change the new surface name to Z-Line Bottom, and then under the Surfaces section, we select the bottom wall of our airfoil and then click on Create button. We do the same thing to create the upper line with the difference that this time in the front surfaces section we select the top wall of our airfoil and then click on create button. Now in order to view these created lines all you have to do is to expand the graphics section and double click on the mesh button. In the appeared window under the surfaces section, if you select these four walls and then click on Save or Display button, you can see the airfoil walls and the lines that are created over them. Now, in order to extract the pressure coefficient diagram, we expand the plots and then double click on XY plot. The appeared window under the y axis function, we select pressure and underneath it, we select pressure coefficient. And under the surfaces section, we select two lines that we had previously created. And in this slide, you can easily see the pressure coefficient values over two lines that we have created on the airfoil surface. You can also extract different contours on the middle section plane that we have created by simply right-clicking on Contours button and then go over and selecting New button. In the appeared window, for example, in order to extract the Mach number contour, you can change the pressure to velocity and then underneath it, selecting the Mach number and then selecting the Z coordinate number 4, which is the plane that is generated in the middle section of our geometry and then clicking on Save or Display button. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.